John, Brian Keltner. How's it going, Brian? Good, how are you? I was thinking giant finger, and then kind of the two. <laughs> so there's rats. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. the giant finger from space. Yeah. No, but that's not the only thing that you guys got on display here. You guys got all sorts of titles. Let's uh, walk through the booth, and you can give us a lowdown. Sure, let's, right. let's get on it. All right, so what's, what's first? So over here we have uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Right. Um, it's one of our new fighting games. It's bringing together two of the greatest fighting games out there, Street Fighter and Tekken. Yes. Um, characters from both. It'll be coming out uh, next year. Okay. So, uh, and we also announced an NGP or a PlayStation Vita version that will have Cole McGrath from Infamous in it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Cool. So isn't it kind of weird saying Vita? It is. I'm We've still saying NGP it. for like this whole time. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, but we got to get used to it. All right, so this game was on our stage show earlier today. Go check out the archive. Uh, let's keep going this way. Right. It looks like you got some Street Fighter 3 over here. What's going on? So we have uh, St Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Uh, it's downloadable for uh, PlayStation Network and Xbox Live. It'll be coming out uh, next year. Uh -huh. Or, uh, sorry, 2011. Gotcha. Um, it's all the greatness plus new challenges, uh -huh. um, a lot of good stuff. But Third Strike, we have a huge fan base, so yeah. why not? Yeah, cool. get it out there. All right, so let's move along this the other side of the uh, booth here. We got uh, pretty much the same titles over here, right? Yeah. Third strike again, and uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Okay, so let's go this way. Uh, after you, Brian. Yep. And uh, what do we got? We got some Dead Rising 2 off the record. Yeah, we're coming up on Dead Rising 2 off the record. Uh, for PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and PC. Uh, Frank West is back in the game. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm all about, dude. Frank, he needed to come back. He did. His yeah. whole swarthy yeah. cockiness. <laughs> Um, first time PlayStation 3 users get to play as Frank West ever, right. so it's pretty exciting for them. Um, a whole new world built into the original Dead Rising 2 world plus extra stuff. Um, the photography's back, you have this amusement park that we're showing off here, all new combo weapons, um, a lot of great stuff. So that's yes. very exciting. All right, cool. So let's move. And when, when's that coming out? That comes out at, towards the end of this year. And then here we are. The giant <laughs> finger. Although the giant finger is not making its appearance, whole different, uh, whole different gameplay being shown here. What are you guys showing off? Yeah, so this is Asura's Wrath. Um, the finger doesn't come towards the end of the demo, and both of these players are at the beginning, so <laughs> you'll have to wait a little bit for that. <laughs> cool. But you have um, Asura in full gameplay right now, um, attacking some of the deities um, in this world. Uh, it's being developed by CyberConnect. Um, and that's coming out in 2012 also. Right. Yeah. And uh, is, is there, uh, you obviously you got this demo playable on the floor. Any talks of demos downloadable coming up soon? or uh, Nothing yet that we've talked about, okay. um, but I'm sure there will be more information in the future. I'm sure there will be. <laughs> <We got laughs> <some time. laughs> All right. So 2012, man, that's a long time to wait, but yeah. I'm sure it's worth it. <laughs> but, uh, and then you mentioned some revelations over yeah. here, right? Yeah, so we have Resident Evil uh, Revelations for the 3DS. Uh -huh. um, all new Revelations story-based game for the 3DS in full 3D. It's gorgeous. Uh -huh. um, it follows Jill and a new character, Wes or sorry, Parker. Uh -huh. I almost said Wesker for a second. Um, as they're trying to find the location of Chris Redfield after RE4. So it's a kind of a transition between RE4 and RE5. Nice. Yeah, it's great. All right. Uh, some touch-based stuff in there, so you have puzzles. Etc. Cool. Um, so yeah, check that one out. It looks like we got our, our man Mark Walton over here getting his revelations on. What's up, Mark? Hello. How's it going? Yeah. How's, how's it going over here, man? Are you 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 getting you getting smoked by the zombies or what? Yeah, I'm getting seriously smoked <laughs> right now. Actually, it's I forgot how hard Resident Evil is. You know, when it's you've got tough, when you've got like five shots left in your gun, you're just like. <laughs> and you got like folks just trying to get at you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's really, really tricky, but it's good fun actually. I'm really enjoying it. All right, cool. Well, I'll let you have at it. And uh, Brian, okay, here we go. We, we got Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. This is coming. This will be on our stage show uh, later this week. But give give folks the rundown and a little preview. Yeah. So our uh, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, uh, squad-based shooter for PS3 and 360. Gotcha. Um, you play as the Umbrella Security Service. Right. So for the first time, you're looking at it from the bad guys angle. Yes. Um, it's kind of a three different tiers of combat. You'll have the zombies, which you'll see. Uh, BOWs as well as uh, Spec Ops characters that will come in and add uh, an extra element. So you're kind of fighting against the Spec 
spec ops, but you'll have this surprise of zombies popping up all over the place, um, and they'll infect you and give you all that good stuff. <laughs> all sorts of lovely zombie oh, infections. Yeah. All right, so that's Re uh, Resident Evil Operation, Operation Raccoon City. When is this game supposed to come out? This one comes out towards the end of the year also. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's like your whole thing, right? Holiday 2011. Holiday next year. It's all, all, I mean, it's E3. It's stuff that's upcoming. All right, so uh, what else we got? Is this pretty much? Right here we have Dragon's Dogma. Okay, let's take a look at that. Yeah. This was, uh, you guys announced this, right, at Captivate, right? We did. We announced it at okay. Captivate. It's playable for the first time since Captivate at E3. Um, it's kind of a fantasy um, action game, uh -huh. I will say. Um, you play as a character whose heart has been taken out by a dragon, so you're, <laughs> yeah. So you're on a revenge kind of quest. Sure. To, yeah. Get your heart back. Get your heart back. Wow. Uh, fighting fingers, zombie apocalypse, uh -huh. and uh, h dragons that steal your heart. Yeah. Plus, there's all sorts of other huge, gigantic characters in this. Um, there's a chimera, which you can see over on the third one. That's kind of lion, goat, snake combo. Uh, that is quite a combo. Yeah, look out! For and the it. snake is the tail. That's like the hottest <laughs> stuff right there. And he'll put you to sleep. Like he spits out this stuff that puts you to sleep. What is the goat doing to the lion, though? Is that like is he like the more dominant one, or what's going on? He's. I wouldn't say more dominant. I mean, the they're lion, all dominant, right? Yeah, the lion's obviously steering everything. <laughs> Cool, and that's that's pretty much the lowdown of what you guys got here, right? Yeah, that's pretty much everything we have. In our All right, we're in. Come on back here and close it out from the Capcom booth. Brian, thanks for joining us, man. Absolutely. Oh wait, one last question: When's this game coming out? Uh, Dragon's Dogma comes out. I'm blinking right now. That's <laughs> right. Sometime in the future. That's how you get away with that one. <laughs> Sometime in the future. Great. Thanks, Brian. Thanks for joining us. That's all from the Capcom booth. Let's take it back to the stage.